hey guys welcome to my channel so in today's video we are going to discuss about how to build a custom ngf directive so we have this uh, show and hide checkbox here and when the checkbox value is true we are going to uh, show this div and if it is false we will hide it currently i have already implemented this uh, directive and i'll show you that how it should build this directive so if i replace this with ngf so you, you will see it is working like the same if i click on this button this div will be visible and if I can uncheck it, then you can see it is hidden, right? And if I replace it with my directive that I have just built, it's a custom directive. So you will see nothing has changed, right? It's working just same as ngif. So now let me tell you how we will do that. I will create a new directive here, first of all. And uh, we will just create this directive. Uh, custom show height directive so we have the basic structure ready here and uh, to use this directive we'll just need to provide this here okay we have added this uh, directive here and now it is the part of our module so we can use this directive anywhere in this module and we're going to use this directive here instead of this let's replace it and uh, this is the flag that is going to be true or false so what it is doing whenever you click on this checkbox if it is true this checkbox checked value will become true and it will assign to this show so this show will become true or false now we have to see how we can apply this into our directive so if i go to my directive which is this one so here first of all we are going to receive an input so input is going to so input is going to be the same directive here and uh, for now we just keep it like this only we just need to import this input uh, from core and we also need uh, a view container reference that means uh, view container reference vcr <coughs> view container ref okay so now we have this variable which is going to give the value from true or false uh, from this html that we are going to pass it from here oh wait a second it should be small i guess so we have this so let's check it out whether we are getting this value here or not so for this we can say ng on changes and uh, in order to use it we will need to implement this on changes here cool now we can console this value so we can make sure that we are getting the correct value from this input or not and we will just log it and save it and you can see we are getting false here <coughs> to make sure we are getting from the right variable we will just add a name here before this we can say uh, check if i save it yes it's a correct value that's cool that means our values are coming right and if i make it true cool this is working fine right we are able to get the show and hide value here and we also need the template which we will pass to create the view and hide it temp ref it should be template reference type okay so what is the problem here yeah it, we need to pass a type here so for now i'm going to pass this any because i don't know what could be the dom element here so we have the template this template is nothing just the same template that uh, where we have applied our directive which is the not this one <coughs> which is this div element so it is going to give me this div element reference here so basically this template is going to give me the same template reference of this div where we have applied our directive this one i'll let enter here so it will look a little better <coughs> all right so now what we need to do is we need to create this template based on this condition so what we can do here is we can add a condition here like if this dot app directive which is this input that we have just add it here line number 13 if this value is true then this will create a reference dot create embedded view and here i'll just add pass the template this dot temp ref now it will create a embedded view for us as soon as we click here and now if this condition is false that means this value it's false that means check checked value is false that we need to remove the element from the term right as well right so we will just do one thing we just clear the value of this embedded view 
that's all we need to do so now if this value is true it will create the omitted view otherwise it will make it false that means it is going to clear it so let's test it out this code it is working or not if i click on show cool then it's working right false and for double testing i'll just comment out this code save it oops nothing is working but we are getting the values right <coughs> make it if i uncomment this code now if i try it again it's working perfectly fine right and now it is not ending it here because if you have noticed one thing whenever we create a structure direct we also add star symbol before the directive developers don't know about it whenever this question has been asked like why we are adding this star in front of structure directive so i have seen that many of the candidate answer of this question like why we add this star symbol before the structure directory so most of the candidates just answer it like so it is the basically just a syntax that will segregate structure and, and attribute directives which is the wrong answer actually i mean this is one of the way actually we segregate it that's true the most important thing is like we add it so it will create a wrapper on top of it so like it will just create a ng template here and inside this template it will going to put this directive and here instead of this it will look like an attributal directive here <coughs> because we are passing this as an input in the end right so this is what it looks like this is what this star does basically it will create an uh, template reference on top of it <coughs> and it will just say this is njf so that's why whenever this element is get deleted from the DOM, but we still have the reference here that means it is going to clear this div element out of it but it still remember where to put it back when the condition will become true otherwise when if you think uh, just think about it like if this entire div will be deleted then how this ticket uh, this directive will get triggered again and uh, and going to add this uh, div back to the same position this is not possible if the directive is going to get deleted and that's what most of the people don't think how it is working exactly because it is creating a template here because of this star symbol because whenever you use ng template it is not going to be visible in the DOM but it is still going to be there so basically it always remains there and uh, whenever the condition code change again it will check for this ng if always put this div back at the same position again so that's how this custom directive thing works actually we can build any custom directive here so thank you guys thank you so much for watching this video that's all for today and i hope you have learned something today and if you did please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the channel and pressing the bell icon because I always keep uploading this type of content and uh, you will get the notification as soon as I upload any new video. So thank you guys. Thanks you for time. Have a good day. Bye. Take care.